Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and it's for the week of April 8th through April 14th. And for this week I have a really gorgeous kit that I think is so perfect for April. When I purchased it, I totally was already planning to use it this month and it's from Sweet Fox Papery. Um, this is called Blooms and Shrooms and I believe she had taken this off of her site but um, when I told her that I was using this really soon, um, she said she would put it back on her website in case any of you guys were interested in picking it up and it's just such a gorgeous kit I love the purples and I just love the kits from her shop in general and so I would recommend you guys to check that out if you're interested um, so again this is called blooms and shrooms we have the eight full boxes on this page and I love this little like faux chalkboard art right here and it says believe in the center here we have the full box checklist we have the bottom washi, the washi strips, and then this little piece of deco on the side. And then on this page, we have half boxes. Um, we have appointment labels, a three heart checklist, some sidebar trackers. And then on this page, we have the headers. We've got the um, hexagon icon, some check flags, a couple pieces of deco, and then this weekend banner that I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of the things I love about her kits is that her weekend banners are always super unique and always match like the theme of the kit. So this one is no exception. It's so gorgeous. And then on this page, we have the date covers which again is another thing that I love about her kits and um, a hydrate box she's got a lot more deco pieces another three heart checklist and then another sidebar tracker so I love when kits come with two sidebar trackers just because I do use both of them in my planning um, so yeah I really really again I'm so excited to use this kit I've been holding on to it for quite some time and um, Sorry, my camera just totally cut me off, so um, I am re-recording this little segment. But anyways, I'm starting by placing down my bottom washi, and then I'm going to go ahead and continue with the rest of the spread. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to pull in the Simply Gilded Bow Washi, and I chose the lavender one with the silver foil because I felt like it matched the spread really well, and I also love how purple and silver foil go together really nicely. And while I'm putting down the rest of my bottom washi, I wanted to let you guys know that um, I reached out to the owner of Sweet Fox Papery. Her name's Emily, and she's super sweet. Um, she let me know that her shop is going to be on vacation until around June. So if you guys want updates as to when her shop will be opening, and other fun things, um, be sure to join her Facebook group because that's where she posts everything. And I also have a coupon code for her shop. It's planning peep for 15% off your order. Um, and I do have that down below in my description box. So be sure to check it out and use it if you do eventually decide to make a purchase. Um, so once I'm done with the bottom washi, I go ahead and place down my top corner box and I chose the one that says believe. And then I also place down all of my date covers. Throughout the week, I decided to pull in the skinnier version of the Simply Gilded Washi. So I first put a strip of that underneath the full box in the corner, and then I used the um, habit tracker from the kit to track working out as I usually do. Um, underneath the habit tracker, I put down a Sparks Joy header with a Monday through Sunday box to mark all of my happy moments of the week. And then at the bottom, I put down a dinner's header with the other Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. I put a small sliver of washi just to finish out that space, and then um, I moved to Monday. So Monday, I started by placing down a Today header at the top. It was the first day that we returned from spring break, so of course I was super exhausted. I used a tired emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co., and then um, of course I had to get coffee that morning, so I pulled in this appointment label, and the coffee cup sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. On Monday, I worked on reports for the majority of the day, so I put that on a half box, and the laptop sticker is from Sticker Blush. Um, I put down the full box at the bottom because I already knew that's where I wanted it, and then I go back up and actually replace the coffee cup with a silver foiled um, coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker just because, like I said earlier, I wanted to pull in silver foil when I could. I then put down a three heart checklist in that little middle section. And one of the things I did after work was working out. So I placed down a shoe sticker from paper and milk to mark that. I trimmed off a little bit of the full box just because I needed some more room. And the nail polish sticker that I put down is from Lemon Paper Co., which I don't believe is open anymore. Um, on the full box, it's hard to write on a full box that's like really colorful. So I pulled in the scallop label that I had in my collection and um, I did some YouTube binge. So the laptop sticker is from Sweet Kawaii Designs. And at the end of the night, I recorded a voiceover. Um, the microphone sticker is from Love Shira and the silver foiled record sticker is from Randy.plans. 
Moving to Tuesday, I first started by placing down an appointment label at the top, and then I used a paperclip bow sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a morning meeting that I had. I used one of the hexagon icons from the kit with an upload sticker, I think that's from K Stickers Co. to mark that I uploaded my travel plan and journal with me spread that day. And I actually ended up taking out the hexagon icon and replacing it with a piece of deco instead, just because I wanted to try and pull in some deco in the spread. I then put down a little things with a silver foiled meeting sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark two meetings I had that afternoon. The first one I marked with a pencil sticker from Nikki Plus 3, and then the second one was an IEP, so I used an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. Underneath the full box, I put down a half box with a workout girl sticker from Thule Plans to mark that I did a workout when I got home. And that night, we kind of had two dinners. We had Korean barbecue and pizza. So I used this binge eating munchkin from Once More With Love, which I thought was super perfect to mark that. Um, and then at the bottom, I put down a couple strips of washi with a YouTube binge sticker from Love Shira to mark that I just watched some YouTube videos that night. But I wanted to include a strip of the Simply Gilded washi, so I did peel everything up to add that in. I actually um, switched things around so I used the strip of washi to mark our dinner and then um, I placed down that YouTube binge sticker on the bottom by itself. On Wednesday, I started by placing down a full box. And again, it's hard to write over like a floral pattern box. And so I used another scallop label over that. The coffee sticker was the one I initially put down on Monday and that's from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And then that day I got a really unpleasant email. So um, I used an appointment label with an annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. I used a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs again to mark that I had another IEP that afternoon. And then when I got home, I actually went on a run that day. Um, I was trying to start running again, like just building in some runs into my workout routine, which hasn't gone super well, but um, that was the first day I tried that out. So the um, shoe sticker is from Sticker Sis, I believe. And then um, I used a washi strip with a silver heart from Hazel Sticker to mark that I tried a new spicy noodle um, that I I was really excited about. I then pretty much didn't do much for the rest of the day, so I just found this really large time to relax sticker that was in my leftover stash. And at the very bottom, I just put down an appointment label, and I think that's from Sticker Bloom, but I got those so long ago, I'm not sure they're still available. There was a little extra space underneath that relaxed sticker, so I used a few pieces of deco. And then that night, I had a stomach ache, and I'm not quite sure what it was from. I don't know if the noodles caused it or what. So I pulled in the Sick Girl sticker from Sun Fun Stickers to mark how uncomfortable I felt that night. On Thursday, I first put down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. Then I used a silver foiled um, coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I got a matcha latte that morning. I have been loving the iced matcha lattes from Starbucks, so I've been alternating between that and coffee in the mornings. But anyways, that day I actually got a really, really sweet email from a parent, so it totally balanced out the other email um, that was not so nice the day before. So I put that on a little label from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, and then I used a half box with another flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting. I placed down a full box underneath that and it's the one with the watering can that I think is so gorgeous. And then we did date night on Thursday. So I put down a couple strips of washi. The um, silver foiled heart is from um, Stella Bow Sticker Co. And then the foiled date night tech sticker is from Randy Dot Plans. I slept early that night, so I put down a sleeping mask from Planning Like a Pro to mark that and I move on to Friday. For Friday, I started with a today header and then I used a label with a coffee sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I got another iced matcha latte from Starbucks. Like I said, I was like totally obsessed with it. And then I put down a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a morning meeting that I had. I got some Thai takeout for lunch. It was kind of a treat yourself kind of day. So um, I marked that with a silver bow from Planning Like a Pro. And then I did a workout when I got home. So I used another label from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and just covered up the heart with that workout girl sticker. And that is from Whimsical Cat Studio. There was a new Ding Tea Boba Shop, which is like my favorite, um, that just opened up in our city. And so I definitely wanted to go to the grand opening. They were doing like buy one, get one free. Um, so yes, of course, I had to go wait in line for it. And that boba sticker is from A Happy Blue Tree. 
I put down a full box at the bottom and then in the remaining space, I put a couple strips of washi with a TV sticker from Brandy's shop to mark that we watched The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel that night, which is one of my favorite shows now. It's so, so good. I highly recommend it. And on the full box, um, I put down a film sticker from Love Shira and then I had like major insomnia that night because I had boba pretty late in the day um, and I'm pretty sensitive to caffeine. So um, I definitely could not fall asleep that night. I used like a counting sheet cheap girl sticker that was in my little leftovers collection and a flag from creative seller to mark that I couldn't sleep that night. Moving to the weekend, I couldn't decide where I wanted to place down the weekend banner because it's so gorgeous, but it is quite large and takes up a lot of room. So I actually um, ended up deciding to put it where the date covers are. And so I took off the date covers on Saturday and Sunday, and then I placed down the weekend banner on top of that. I did have to white out some of the um, dates on the Erin Condren just so it didn't peek through but I really really like how that turned out and I think that was a great way to um, not take up so much space on the actual day itself so that I could fit everything that I wanted. I used a full box at the top of Saturday and first pulled in the silver foiled bow sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And I used that to mark that I had a really lazy morning on Saturday, which is always lovely. I put down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi and then I used an Aaron's header with a three heart checklist to mark some of the things that I got done that day. Um, one of them was to, or a few of them were to get some groceries because we were going over to a friend's house for dinner that night. So we had to get some stuff. Um, so I used a grocery icon from Sparkly Studio. I then cleaned for a bit, so I used a cleaning icon from Toffee Bananas to mark that, and then I made a Korean dish called Topoki. I hope I'm saying that correctly because I'm not actually Korean, um, but that was something that I was bringing over to my friend's house, and so I placed that on an appointment label with a utensil sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. That night, like I mentioned, we went over to our friend's house to do like a little raclette and game night. And for those of you that may not know, which I totally didn't know um, before this, a raclette is like um, like a cheese melter machine thing where you can um, put in like slices of cheese that you want and it just like melts it. It's very specific and I don't know why my friend decided to get it, but it was actually really fun doing that. So we basically just had all these like different veggies and meats and stuff that we put melted cheese over. So it was amazing. Um, but anyways, it turned out super fun and the silver foiled heart sticker is from Hazel Sticker. On Sunday, I had a hard time deciding what I wanted to do at the top, and eventually I decided to put down just a strip of washi underneath the weekend banner. I then put down a to-do header with a three heart checklist and marked some of the things that I had to get done. Um, the silver foiled upload sticker I used is from Randy.plans again. I love her foiled stickers. And then I had to do taxes that day. It was like a really stressful situation because I thought I had sent my tax documents to my accountant a few weeks ago, but that email never went through and so she was like no I can't help you out right now because it was like the day before taxes were due so I was freaking out about it but I managed to get them done in time that freaking out emoji is from the coffee monsters co and it was perfect to mark how I felt I then pulled in another appointment label to mark that my boyfriend's mom came into town to stay for the night. So we got to hang out with her that day and I just filled that in off camera. Um, we went and got some pizza for lunch. So I used a flag from the creative seller with a pizza munchkin from Once More With Love. And then um, we kind of just chilled at home for a little bit. Like I think I wanted to take a nap, but I didn't end up falling asleep. So I just like did a YouTube binge and read a book. Um, so I had a hard time figuring out how to mark this because um, again, Again, with a patterned full box, sometimes it's really hard to see what you put on it. Um, eventually, what I did was to put down a me time sticker from my leftover stash. I think that's from Little Miss Papery. And then I used a scallop label from Creative Seller with a reading sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I just read Harry Potter, which I am rereading at the moment. And at the bottom, we got some tacos from a new taco place that just opened up. So I put that on a half box with taco stickers from Hazel Sticker. I then moved to Tuesday and decided to switch up the relax sticker that I had put down because there's this really gorgeous piece of deco from the kit that I really wanted to use. So I placed that down instead and it fit the space perfectly. And then using a white jelly roll pen, I just wrote relax on the little banner part. And I really, really love how that turned out. 
That is the last thing that I do with my spread. So I go ahead and fill out my sidebar now, just tracking all of my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. I always save this for the very end. And after I'm done with that, I tried to put down a few pieces of deco around the spread, but um, it was already a pretty full spread. So there were only a few spots that I could stick stuff, but I still tried. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. As usual, I tend to use all the full boxes and half boxes, but I have a lot of other stuff left over. So I'll definitely be adding it to my giveaway stash and anyways that is it for my spread this week and I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me say this but this kit is so gorgeous and I think this spread turned out beautiful because of it and yeah be sure to um, check out Sweet Fox Papery when she reopens in June and join her Facebook group like I said if you're interested in any updates um, thank you so much for watching as usual I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye